update 1.06 is now live for Call of Duty World War 2. We have some nerfs, we have some buffs, we have some, you know, glitches that were fixed and a lot to talk about. So I hope you guys enjoy. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Rich, or right away, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm bringing you another Call of Duty World War II video. Once again, I'm still coming off my sickness, the flu, so if I sound a little bit strange, I apologize, but either way, I wanted to get this video up for you guys because we just got a brand new update within Call of Duty World War II. This was patch update 1.06, and this update, it contains a lot, guys. It contains a lot of fixes and a lot of bug fixes uh, that have to do with maps, you know, weapons, bins, uh, you know, uh, XP and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, Sledgehammer, they're actually putting down the Banhammer, guys. They're literally putting down the Banhammer and banning a lot of people, which I will be talking about in just a bit here, uh, but, you know, hopefully you guys do enjoy this update video. If you guys do, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and with that being said, let's jump right into it. So, courtesy to Charlie Intel, I will leave the link to the patch notes in the description if you guys want to see them and, you know, read them out for yourself and stuff like that. Once again, a patch update 1.06 went live for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So uh, just, to, you know, one big thing that kind of everyone has been talking about, the headquarters is now live, guys. So there is a brand new button that once you go to the main menu of World War II, there'll just be a, uh, just a standalone button that says headquarters. It doesn't automatically load you into a headquarters. You have to actually click the button before going into a headquarters in World War II. And now the headquarters are, are populated. They're populated now. There's tons of people. Uh, we've seen this before when supply drops came out in cod points and then they removed it uh but now it's populated again so i don't know if it's gonna stay populated i don't know if they're gonna remove it again i don't know what the deal is with world you know world war ii and sledgehammer but they populate the headquarters for a couple of days and then they just you know remove it so i don't really know what's gonna be going on with that uh but either way the headquarters is populated now tons of people opening up supply drops tons of people walking around and stuff like that which is really cool so moving on to the fixes because there are just a ton of fixes i'm just gonna try and go through them as quickly as possible and in like a timely matter and stuff like that and then we will be talking about later on in the video all of like the the band hammers that sledgehammer will be dropping uh you know i think today i'm pretty sure so Moving on to the first thing, Xbox One and PS4 crash fixes, which is really nice. Uh, server and connectivity improvements, which is really, really good. I've been having tons of connectivity issues, so they're improving that. They're always improving connectivity issues, uh, you know, along the way, and whenever new updates come out, they're always improving connectivity issues, which is really, really nice. It says right here, fix an issue preventing users from entering local play match if bo booting game. I don't really know. It's, that's local match. No one really cares. Fix an issue of players being kicked to ghost lobby, then startup screen with lost connection to host message after public match. Matches. This is very very good. I always used to go into like ghost lobbies and like after every single game I would have some kind of glitch where it's like lost connection to host or I don't know They would just throw me into a game right away I couldn't even like edit my classes So they're fixing you know issues with that which is really really nice I would say that's definitely a, a big issue with World War 2 right now because people are constantly joining uh, You know new games and they're you know after the games are loaded and done uh, They would just get you know into a ghost lobby So they're fixing that which is always a good sign next right here fix an issue of showing black screen when host leaves the match which i always get that literally that was some, one thing that i always got just a black screen couldn't do anything had to restart my game it got very very annoying general leaderboard fixes and improvements this is very very good because the leaderboards are kind of whack at the moment so they're always you know improving and uh you know you know fixing the issues with the leaderboards in world war ii and i feel like call of duty games they always have issues with leaderboards so i'm glad that they're actually trying to you know make improvements and fix the issues going on with leaderboards because leaderboards is just a huge part of World War II and, you know, Call of Duty games in general. Next up, and this is this is something that a lot of people are going to be happy uh, about. I was so pissed. Like, whenever I got into Point to Hawk and stuff like that, there was always people in glitches and in map exploits, and they fixed map exploits for Point to Hawk, USS Texas, London Docks, and Flak Tower, which is really, really good, man. The, I just know, particularly the glitch spot on Point to Hawk, everyone used to go in there, and I used to die, and it was so annoying. So they're fixing, you know, map exploits and glitches which is really really good moving on here fix an issue allowing snaking exploits they're fixing the whole snaking exploits thing people can snake around the map and that was super annoying moving along here it says fix an issue when party leader changes game mode members are taken to a ghost lobby so they're fixing all of that sorts of stuff uh fix an issue when party leader uh, leaves lobby before user loads out of match user uh, enters a ghost lobby so they're fixing all of the ghost lobby issues like i was talking about before i would constantly get into ghost lobbies and black screens and they're 
of fixing that, which is always, always a good sign. Next up, general party improvements, uh, including crash fixes, connectivity fixes, and access to headquarters after a match. They're fixing and improving everything. Like I said, guys, this update, there was not a lot of like gun changes. There was not a lot of, you know, nerfs and, you know, buffs with weapons, but this update mainly focused on fixing a lot of exploits, a lot of glitches, a lot of bugs and stuff like that, which is good because we need updates like this. We need updates where, you know, they just fix a, a ton of the issues and a ton of the problems that people have been experiencing. Next up, fix uh, not allowing players who have prestige to accept, complete, or turn in orders and contracts. That obviously would probably be pretty annoying. The fact that, you know, you complete an order or contract and you can't complete it or you can't like, you know, turn it in to accept your reward. Obviously, that would be pretty, you know, annoying and I'm glad that they're fixing that. Next up, and this is a very, very big one, guys. This is a very big one. So it says fix an issue, not properly tracking uh, the Panzer Shrek or challenge. The, the Panzer Shrek is the launcher in the game, preventing players from receiving snow camo unlock. So uh, there was a ton of people who were like ready to unlock the chrome camo in World War II, but this last challenge uh, for the launcher was glitched and they couldn't, you know, obviously uh, do the last launcher challenge to get chrome camo. So now people are getting chrome camo. People are able to unlock and complete that last camo challenge and they finally fix it like a month into the game they finally fix this camo challenge and now people are able to unlock chrome camo which is in fact the secret camo of the game and stuff like that so chrome is in fact the secret camo of world war 2 and they finally fixed it so people can complete that last challenge that last launcher challenge and now people are having you know chrome camo on their weapons and now everyone can unlock chrome camo i just started a series on my channel yesterday road to chrome camo so if you guys missed that make sure to check it out next up fix an issue showing incorrect leaderboard data which was definitely an issue people would always see incorrect uh you know leaderboard data people would just look at the leaderboards and be like hey that's not the right you know information that's not the right data uh the leaderboards are screwed up so they're fixing issues with the leaderboards like i said before next up fix an issue where changing characters face and equipped a division uniform displays previous characters face and kicks player out of the menu i really have no clue what that's going on about moving on here fix an issue causing headquarters death weapon and division stat to be logged in through the combat record that was pretty crazy people would be dying in the headquarters and it would actually count towards your combat record so that is not counting anymore so that's always good and then we have various ui improvements uh, for orders and challenges now moving on to the slight weapon tuning uh, updates that we did get today i didn't say there was a lot of you know weapon nerfs and buffs but there was slight you know changes so we got the bar nerf there was actually a bar nerf and it adds more recoil i did test out the bar it's nothing too crazy the recoil is still you know manageable you can still use the bar so don't think it's totally broken next up reticle unlock fix for stg44 reflex site and custom reticle fixes for scopes for the car 98 and the elite infields now we have a basic training update the prime basic training nerf so the prime to basic training did get a nerf today it received a nerf and basically what the prime basic training did was you uh you get to uh, flinch less when you have primed on so now you're gonna be flinching a little bit more so they, the the prime basic training it received a nerf today i haven't officially like played with it so i don't know if it's too crazy i know sledgehammer they're working really really hard to figure out you know the flinching with every single weapon in the game so hopefully we just find a big fix for that but for now the primed basic training did receive a nerf today hopefully it's not too crazy because that's one of the things or that's one of the the basic trainings that i use you know all the time so that's pretty much like a lot of the fixes that went on today for world war ii and also guys uh they are banning people sledgehammer they are banning people if you guys did the prestige glitch uh they are banning people which is actually kind of crazy so like if you did the prestige glitch man if you literally did the prestige glitch you know you're just gonna get bamboozled off your Ringfenstein and you know you're gonna get banned people are literally gonna about to get banned for doing the prestige glitch I know you had to like go to prestige your division and then glitch the screen and then you can basically just prestige unlimited amount of times like go to the max prestige so so if you did that glitch obviously you knew that you were doing a little bit of like a risk like the risk is there they are starting to ban people I don't know if they're gonna do like temporary bans or you know you know perma bans or whatever or just reset stats I really don't know what sledgehammer is doing all they said was uh that the ban hammer is coming so I would make sure if you guys did that glitch the xp glitch and the the prestige glitch in the headquarters i would just watch out for your account but for now guys that's basically all of the updates within world war 2 today update 1.06 if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel once again the patch notes will be in the description thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time